Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the second part of this video series where we 3D model this character, which is Katra from the Netflix series, Shira. In the last video tutorial, we, we created one arm and a leg, which will eventually become two. And in this video tutorial, we will actually start modeling the torso so that we can start developing the body and then eventually head up to the head. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Software includes Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software, and let's get started in modeling the torso for Catra. Okay, so again, what I'm doing is just kind of showing you guys the basics here. And then um, when the, can the character is basically complete, then I start adding more details, uh, such as the claws and, you know, things like that. So and the toes and everything but this hopefully this will give you an idea of how to create your character so the torso the torso is very similar to this believe it or not we are going to be using a cylinder again because our bodies are basically you know it's basically a cylinder um, i'm going to reduce my subdivision to 12 and remove my caps um maybe i'll give myself a little bit more maybe 16. And don't forget to give yourself some height. But the reality is, is that we only need to model half of it. So what I'm gonna do is actually go to faces and delete half of these faces. Now the trick though, is that you do not want to do what we've been doing, which is grabbing the whole row and start scaling it because then you, you ruin the center, the center seam, right? So instead you just ignore that center line center vertices, and instead you're gonna just scale it on one direction using uh, the vertices. So skip that center one, especially in the front view, and then I'm just going to scale and just place it, just like we've, we've done before. There's, there's a variety of ways of modeling characters. Everyone's gonna do it a different way. I found this to be the fastest and most efficient, I would say. I would recommend that you guys try different versions. I have literally started with a cube and modeled a whole character using a cube. I've done the face with a sphere, which was a nightmare. Um, there's a variety of ways to model. You guys just need to explore character modeling on your own and figure out which one's the fastest, easiest way. For me, this is the fastest, easiest for simple characters. It's not exactly like if you're trying to create photo real, then you know, this is a good place to start. You guys have to kind of explore yourselves. And then, whoops, I did not mean to grab that. Uh, then I'm gonna grab these guys, scale it, and this is basically going to be like her neck. I obviously need a lot more mesh to make her a little bit more rounded. So let's go ahead and insert an edge. So grab an edge here. And just like before, we're gonna grab anything that we grab. Whoa, that did not mean to do that. You wanna make sure that you scale on one direction. I should name these. This is my leg, leg geo, arm geo. Okay, let me insert another edge here. Now, there are things like topology. I do recommend that you do guys follow topology, which means that uh, the pelvis and everything has kind of like a downward flow. So a lot of people do create edges like this where it actually kind of goes down. And then as you get higher, um, you know, it just basically follows more like the rib cage and things like that. So there is a whole thing about that. Uh, I'm not really gonna tackle that today. I'm just trying to do like the basics here. But now that I have the front, I'm going to go to the side. Oops, which I did in place. So make sure you grab the whole thing. And you can see that now I need to crush it a little bit. And I'm going to start at the top. So this is her neck. So again, just scale in one direction. This way. And I will add more details as I go in. But right now I'm just trying to get the base, the main shape. Now you'll notice that her chest area are not individual, right? They're not like separated. They're actually, it's almost like a corset. So that makes it easier to model because that doesn't mean that I have to make something flat and then extrude her chest. So this is actually 
great for me. Do, do, do. Okay. So again, I'm just scaling on one direction. So you guys are starting to see that the character is starting to look like a character. So now I have to put her arm where she belongs. And now it's time to start combining these pieces together. So this is where it gets a little bit challenging because what we have here is we have 12 edges here. And over here, we actually had 12 edges and then we subtracted. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to find 9, 10, 11, 12. So I need to find um, three more edges, right? But let's also remember that we need to, we need like um, the pelvis. So what I can do is, is I'm going to grab these vertices here and just kind of nudge them to the front, which is going to give me the pelvis. And if you want to, you can also move these forward too. So again, it's going to start creating more like a, oops, not that one. This is going to be like the pelvis. And then what I'm going to do is grab one edge on one side, grab the other edge on the other, and then I'm going to bridge, which is going to create the pelvis. Now, since I created that bridge, I am going to add a couple of divisions, which is going to give me all the edges that I need. So now I have, if I count all my edges, I've got one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Oops, then I still messed up, but that's okay. I can add more as I go on. All right, so the part that the next part is basically connecting each edge with, you know, a friend, right? So, for example, uh, the first thing I need to do though is combine them together because they're separate pieces and I want to snap them together. So, I'm going to go to mesh, combine. So, now they're one piece. And now, what I can do is um, I can grab a vertice. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press one just because we have to work in low poly. I'm going to snap it to the part, the vertice that it belongs with. So this vertice, for example, I'm gonna place it here. So I'm gonna hold down V for vertex, V, middle mouse and click, and it will snap it here. Now it's still separate, it's just, it's just snapping into that place. So again, I'm selecting one vertex, I'm gonna hold down V and then middle mouse and click, it's gonna snap it to that location. So what I'm doing here is trying to figure out where is the edges that I need. So you'll notice that around here where the pelvis is, um, I need an extra edge. And I do believe I have space for it. So what I'm going to do is maybe grab these edges here or these vertices here. And I'm actually going to kind of crush them a little bit and then moving them forward. and then insert an edge. So then I can grab that vertex here and then snap it. Bink. There you go. Grab this one, snap it here. Now these guys are a little bit hidden so let me just grab some of these and just kind of nudge them i'm not too worried right now about them but the purpose is that i'm trying to snap them into their vertices so grab this one v snap i'm going to go back over here to make sure i have enough around the body because that's the main area that people are going to look at so make sure that what you're doing uh same thing with this one i'm going to grab these vertices this is pro this is probably going to be my spine I'm just going to crush them a little bit and bring them closer to each other because I'm going to give myself an edge. Uh, insert edge, pink. So again, I'm going to grab vertices, snap, 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 snap. Make sure you're snapping the right place. Snap.
And you'll notice I have one extra vertice that I need or one extra edge, no problem. I can insert an edge right here. And there we go. Now, just because they look like they're together, if I press the number three, um, they may look together, but they're actually not together. Right. So what I mean by that is that if I grab an edge and I move it, it's actually not combined. So I need to make sure that this mesh, because she's actually a complete character, um, I need to make sure that I merge those vertices together so they become one. So what I'm going to do is grab the vertices, just click and drag. And then I am going to go to Edit Mesh Merge. And anything that's really close together is now going to be one. So if I select this, I'll move it. You'll notice that it's stuck together. If I go to edge, you'll see that it's stuck together as well. So now I can fix my pelvis here to make sure that it fits. So the best and easiest way for me to do that is to just double click those edges. I don't want the neck. So I am going to deselect the neck. And then I'm going to scale it on one direction flat. And then I'm going to scoot this to the side. So now I have one complete body. So if I press the number three, this is how I have the body. There's still things I need to fix, such as the foot and stuff like that. But hopefully you guys are getting the idea of how to start your model. All right, so that was a quick way of modeling the torso for Katra. In the next video tutorial, we are going to be covering how to model the head. It's a little bit more complicated, and we're also going to start putting it all together. So it's a jam-packed series, and hopefully you learned a thing of two. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. That is your message to me, letting me know that you are liking these videos and you want to see more content like this. Also, don't forget to share if you think somebody could use a tutorial on how to build a character. This would be a great way to start. So please share my videos. That's also would be amazing. Take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. That's where you can find 3D models, free 3D models, uh, trainings, eBooks, and so much more. And you will also find my e-courses if you guys want to learn more about Maya and texturing and modeling and all that jazz, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and also take a look at the e-courses. That is another way that you guys can support me. I would love to see your work. So if this is something that you're doing, please tag me in social media. I am in Instagram, Twitter, as well as TikTok and Facebook. So please share your work. I would love to see it. All right, let's go ahead and move on towards the rest of this character, which is going to be the head putting it all together, then her hair, her eyes, there's so much to do. Keep creating and I will see you next time.